guys, I'm really about to take her home. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel, and you probably saw by the title, but I wanted to do a quick introduction for you. <laughs> to me, my new puppy, Mochi. Yeah, she's just gonna lick my fingers. She just yawned, and yeah. Wanna say hi? <laughs> this is Mochi. Say hi, Mochi. Aw, she's. Yeah, she's getting ready for a nap, but this is Mochi. She is a toy poodle, a red toy poodle, and, oh, you're right. She's a red toy poodle, and she's about to be nine, no, 10 weeks. By the time you see this, she's gonna be a little older. She's currently about 1.9 to two pounds, and I do have her next, her second, visit in a few days so she could get all her shots but by my breeder and my vet I was advised to not take her on any walks until she's fully vaccinated which will be around 14 to 16 weeks she's just chomping on I have to get her toy I'm teaching her not to bite but for the video the second the video it'll keep her a little calm but yeah you know what let me put her down and let her get her chew toy because I'm not gonna break no habits for this but this is Mochi. She's so cute. I got her because I always wanted a puppy and this is her first time around my light and equipment. So I don't know how she's gonna react. I got her because number one, I always wanted a puppy and it got a little bit lonely being in a whole new state. And also got her for, I keep looking because she's like everywhere. And I also got her because of some emotional support because I was feeling a little down and I figured getting a puppy would fix everything. And it did because now I'm able to jump into a more regular routine because there were just so many changes and I thought I was adjusting, but whenever I adjusted, I would fall off course and it was just affecting my social life, work life, mentality, everything. So I decided to get a dog and so far having her made the biggest change in my life. Aside from that, she is currently in training. So far, she knows how to sit. Sit. Good girl. She knows how to get released, or she knows her command release word, which is okay, come. And she learned that around seven weeks when I start to train her, which is pretty good. Uh, she's gonna be teething for the next three to six months, I believe. So uh, nipping and biting is a bit of an issue. I might just enroll her into a puppy school when she's fully vaccinated, but I'll try on my own as well to get that um, situated because I don't like when she bites. So now when she bites, I just direct her to her chew toy or I tell her no and she's pretty good at that command as well to stop with biting or chewing on things she's not supposed to be chewing. And then I'll give her a treat and reinforce good behavior. Um, if she nips, I'll just be like, nope, and she gets the gist. So she's pretty good. As far as grooming, I recently got a blow dryer, which was a gift from my sister, so thank you. I'm adjusting with grooming a puppy, and she's also adjusting as well, because she's in a whole new environment. So uh, grooming didn't come by that easily. She's pretty good with getting shampoo. But when it comes to a blow dryer, I'm breaking her into that because the first time I tried my blow dryer, I think the pressure was a little too much and she bolted for heels. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I probably traumatized you. So I'm trying to get her used to getting blow dried or her um, coat, her fur is gonna get a lot more coarser and thicker. Uh, that's what the groomer informed me. Right now she's still really young, so her fur, I air dry it because it doesn't get matted. Her fur is actually a little straight um, in comparison to a full grown poodle. So uh, I just wash her, air, air dry her a little bit until she's fully used to the blow dryer. And that is pretty much it. I also crate trained her and playpen trained her by seven to eight weeks. When I got her, my breeder said she was potty trained. So the first two days I gave her leeway because she was in a new environment, she was a little anxious. But after the end of the first week of having her, she did pretty good. And she's about to potty. She knows
knows exactly when she wakes up. She goes to potty after she eats, she goes to potty. And then around lunchtime, a little bit later in the evening, and then after dinner, she goes to potty again. Yeah, she's pretty little and she can't hold her bladder that long. That's why I had to be quick on getting that potty training situated because the last thing I want is someone coming to my place and be like, yo, have smell like dog or smell like pee or smell like poop. We don't want it. So she goes to her little pee pad. I'll also show, I can't talk. <laughs> I'll also show you my setup. I keep her free roaming throughout the day. And at nighttime, I put her in her playpen because I don't want her getting tangled in my work station wires. And I also don't want her walking into my kitchen and then getting access to my cleaners and other things like that. So, up. Oh. Here's my little setup. The crate is pretty large. She's playing right now. The crate is really big, so I put my divider inside to only fit her bed to let her know that she's not supposed to use the bathroom inside her crate because we did have a little incident. Then there is some space for her to roam during the night. I also have the pee pad holder so she doesn't chew her pee pad some mental exercise toys and on the top just some essentials that i use every day like her brush treats more toys puppy wipes because it gets messy poop bags and blankets yeah she wants to play right now i'm about to no yeah she wants to play right now but we're about to do that after this video i do have her on a schedule as well at 8 a.m i'll give her her first breakfast and by 6 p.m. she eats dinner. Again, she's really small and this was approved. I thought it was a little extreme, but this was approved by the breeder and my vet as well that twice a day is a good enough schedule for her to eat. And throughout the day, I'll give her treats. I had to up the treats and the amount of just a little bit because she was just 1.9 pounds and I need to get her to two pounds or more so she could be eligible for some of her puppy vaccines because if she's not two pounds, I was not able to get some of her vaccines done the first time I took her to the vet. So we need to get her weight up just like her mama. <laughs> I also um, ordered some toys for her to like keep her mentally stimulated so she's not bored. It's kind of hard with a puppy right now because I'm not able to take her on walks. So she's gonna have all that pent up energy and I feel like if I was able to take her to exercise more, she wouldn't bite as much. So I am just praying and hoping for the day when she's fully vaccinated. To, I just needed to hurry up so I could take her on walks because it's getting a little out of hand and annoying. So I can't wait to take her on a little doggy walk or in the dog park or a little playground and she could burn some of that energy so it's not um, interfering with training at home. Um, oh, I also got her pet insurance. I know this is very controversial or optional, I would say, for a lot of dog owners, but I got pet insurance because number one, the economy ain't well in it, let's be honest, and I'm still young and I don't have the funds to like splurge if there's an, emer if there's an emergency. Like I don't have 20 grand laying around if she got a little broken bone and she had to get surgery. Hell to know. So I got pet insurance. If you want more information on that, let me know and I could comment down below or do a video on that. But ultimately I'm paying around 40 to $50 monthly. And if there's an emergency, I'll get reimbursement up to 80%. And there are also wellness credits on my plan. So grooming, prescriptions, and some other um, needs for the puppy will be reimbursed. And that is it. I'm just going to leave this video off and I keep looking around because I want to see how she's reacting to all my setup and everything. Okay, I'm just going to cut this short. She's trying to bite a wire and I'm not trying to have an electrocuted puppy. But if you are considering a puppy, please understand you need to be patient. I work from home so I do have the abilities to train her and keep an eye on her and get her behavior incorrect faster as opposed to someone who does not work from home so i always have an eye on her and there she goes with her pee pad number one thing on your puppy list get a pee pad holder i should have bought two instead of one i don't think this through oh my gosh i'm not trying to have her like eat it but i'll leave a little list of things that you might need and 
this list was also provided by the breeder that I got her from. Um, if you want more details, I also have it on my Instagram. But what was I saying? But that is it for the video, y'all. I'm a dog mom. Like, what? What? I'm a dog mom. It's gonna be an interesting journey. If you wanna see more of her, let me know. But that is it. I mean, if you have more questions, let me know. If you have any tips on owning a puppy, let your girl know. Let me know, because please, the first week of having her, I barely slept. <laughs> Keep that in mind. The first week of having a really young puppy, you will barely sleep. But that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Again, comment down below, and if you have any tips, or if you want to learn something new, or if you just want help in general, I could probably drop some sources, and we could all just make this a learning community for everyone. And yeah that is it and also don't forget to share this video and like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel again thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye